Viewers often contact us with all kinds of medical questions. When Monica emailed us about her mystery condition, we knew we had to help, so we sent her to dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra to find some answers. I've had friends ask me, what do you have underneath my arms? I you know, try to explain to them, I'm not really sure what it is. It's not contagious, but so far nothing has made it go away. About five years ago, I noticed a small rash underneath my arms, almost looking like skin tags. They're red and brown. They start almost up here and go pretty far down. Then I start noticing other bumps in my bikini area. They're quite bright red. My wardrobe is its really difficult. I wear a lot of long sleeve shirts even during the summer months. My arms are always near my body, especially if I'm wearing something that's sleeveless. I really try to kind of adjust myself where nobody sees what's going on. That's why I, I use different options to cover them up, even makeup. It could be concealer, it could be foundation. I've seen three different dermatologists and nothing so far seems to be working. I feel very hopeless and frustrated because the areas have grown a lot over the years. My words for that, yeah, it will never go away. Hi. Monica, Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. This is definitely a more pronounced case, and I can understand why it's so distressing to her given how extensive it is. Do they bother you? Are they itchy or painful? They don't itch. They don't hurt me. It's more visual. One of the things I want to do is a culture just to see if there's any secondary bacteria or virus or fungus. Sure. The second thing I'd like to do definitely is a punch biopsy where we actually almost take like a cookie cutter so that okay. we can really look at the base of it. There are definitely a few different things that can look like this but we just want to figure out what's going on mm -hmm. so we can really tailor your treatment. Monica joins us with Dr. Batra and Monica, have you ever had any answers to, to what this might be? I've seen a couple doctors. There have been no answers. It's kind of a mystery. Well, you're with the best now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Dr. Bacher, what, what did you find? So actually it showed a really unusual pattern of something called granulomatous inflammation. Mm. And that's an inflammation that goes on for a really long time and your immune system is actually meant to protect you against infection. Okay. But when it's going on for months and even years, as in your case, it actually takes on a life of its own and that's what's actually forming these oh. bumps. So what we're planning to do is actually a little bit different. We're going to use a laser, which is an Equinox fractional CO2 laser, which is meant to sort of take off all those bumps and smooth that top layer of the skin. Okay. And we're going to do that over a series just so that we can really blend it and make it mesh with the surrounding skin. Okay. And then the secondary thing is because there's so much inflammation there, the laser is going to help us use anti-inflammatories and cortisone to really absorb a little bit better so it penetrates and disperses that inflammation that's been going on for so long. Okay. And the final things I'm going to be working with you so we can figure out what's triggering the allergy and the hypersensitivity. So not only do we settle it and make it look better, but we can really keep it from coming back over and over. Interesting. Very important. So, yeah. But let me move you back. I am. Yeah. yeah. Great. Please. And so, and we've numbed her in advance. So I'm just going to start here and little zap. How are you feeling? Is that okay? Feels, I can't feel anything. And so what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking um, the fractional laser and just taking off the top layer of skin very gently in sort of a grid pattern. But then what it's also going to do is it's going to open up that surface, that barrier of the skin, yeah. so that the anti-inflammatory that we're going to prescribe can also penetrate. There is a secondary bacteria that certainly is sort of like a perfect storm fueling this inflammation, even though I don't think that's the primary cause. So we're going to give you an antibiotic that will actually help kill the bacteria so it doesn't continue. And so no, we'll no deodorant so for we'll how, long? How, how long? Oh, does probably she about at least seven to ten days oh. while this is healing. And uh, we're going to give her some ointments to really expedite the healing so that it heals properly. And I think the lesson we can all learn here is if you're dealing with a problem for such a long period of time, sometimes you need something like a biopsy to figure out what's going on. Monica, you are on the road to recovery and uh, we're going to let you continue your treatment. Dr. Bajra, always a pleasure. Thank you oh, so very much.